Day 929, just got home. It's almost 11, I think, uh, 1040. I um, was just thinking some about some of the guys in the group, and there's this older guy, and he was in a bunch of gangs, he was in prison, and, you know, he was talking about his childhood. You know, his uh, stepdad used to hit him a lot. He doesn't know what family is. Like, he never, he didn't have a family really growing up, and you know, he was in gangs, and so he doesn't even know what family is, and I was just thinking about him, and you could tell he's got a good heart, but he's just been through it in life, and, um, I just, like, am really, like, thanking God, like, thank you, God, for this group of men that you've sent me. I feel like It's crazy. It's like at the church, like those are the most at risk people. You know, they just got out of jail or prison or got off the streets and they've struggled with addiction and, you know, and, and being in gangs and all this kind of stuff. Um, stuff that I don't really have any experience in. Um, and <laughs> as I was driving, I was like, God, what are you doing? Like, these are, these are like gangsters. Like, what am I, what am I, what do you want me to do? <laughs> And then I, I, then I had this thought, like, yeah, they're worldly gangsters, but I'm a freaking spiritual gangster. Like, like come at me spiritually and I'm going to crush you. Like, there's just, there's, there's no fight. There's just no chance. And so I'm like, okay, that's it. Okay. Okay. Because the only reason why they're worldly gangsters is because they lost the spiritual battle and the enemy got them. And, and so I was thinking about that and then just thinking about like how much of an honor it is to, to be able to fight for these guys and yeah it's just crazy that that god would trust me with them and it, and it really is an honor and just thinking like man i gotta take my faith even to another level like you know i'm, I'm doing my warriors of god calls the victory calls in the morning and um it's like God really put it in my heart, like the conviction last week, I need to take it more seriously. So I got to study the Bible every night before I go to sleep and, and figure out what I'm going to talk about. And the calls have gotten so much better because of that, because I'm actually taking the time to learn like in more in depth what I'm actually teaching rather than just winging it. And, and that's been really powerful. And I feel like having this group of guys, like I just have to, I have to elevate, I have to go to the next level spiritually. And I feel like God is just elevating me spiritually like to the next level to the next level to the next level and i don't have a choice because like i have to lead these guys and they're going through more spiritual warfare probably than anyone in that church and i gotta lead them i gotta lead them out of the darkness like like i know jesus is doing it but jesus is using me and so it's just like i gotta get even more serious about my spirituality and and you know understanding the word and yeah Whew, man so it's like an incredible honor and it's just i gotta get take it to the next level i gotta become like a a spiritual powerhouse you know with with the people that i'm leading and discipling like yeah, and it's interesting because our pastor tonight was talking about, you know, if you want to grow your spirituality, start discipling people. That's the quickest way for you to grow your spirituality and, and become a spiritual warrior is start discipling people. And he said, you got to disciple people. Um, you can only disciple people if you're ahead of them. And he started talking about spiritual maturity. And he said, spiritual maturity doesn't come from being in the presence of Jesus. Judas and Peter were both in the presence of Jesus. And look at what Judas did. And so it's not being in the presence of Jesus that gives you spiritual maturity. It's your obedience. And I keep looking at warriors of God and I keep seeing us as equal levels of spiritual maturity. And I got to stop that because that's not true. God has me leading them. I am their leader because I have more spiritual maturity. It's just the reality because I, I am being more obedient to God than they are, which is why God is doing the things in my life that he's doing which is why I'm the one leading the group. And so I just got to own that and just like, hey, I'm ahead of them. Doesn't mean I'm a, a far ahead of them, but I'm ahead of them. And I got to own that and I got to uh, really powerfully lead um, and take that leadership role because God has, has 
brought them to me to disciple them. And, and I have, and our pastor, he was like, it doesn't matter. There's how long you've been a believer. You know, there are believers who've been believers for 10 years and there's someone who's been a believer for 10 days. And that person who's been a believer for 10 days has more spiritual maturity than the person who's been a believer for 10 years because it's all about obedience. The more obedient you are to God, the more spiritual maturity you have. And so I just got to take ownership of the fact that like God has given me a massive amount of spiritual maturity and it's growing very quickly. And that is coming from my obedience. And honestly, I don't, I don't know anyone in my life that is more spiritually obedient than I am. Like that is just like when God speaks, they move. Like I don't, I don't know anyone and I need to, I need to find more people like that because I need to be led by someone. Um, and so, yeah, it's just like really understanding like, okay, I'm going to the next level. I'm going, God's taking me to the next level. It's in my next level of faith, my next level of spirituality, my next level of understanding the word, understanding God, walking with God, praying, worshiping, like whew, he's taking me to the next level. So it's an honor. It really is an honor. Um, yeah. Yeah.